Hello everyone and welcome to Ferrocar Tutorials. My name is Fernando and today I'm gonna teach you how to fix your model in the software mesh measure from Autodex. Okay, first we're gonna bring our 3D model to your design program. In my case, I'm using Matrix 9. So I'm just gonna open any ring just to show you how we're gonna fix the STL file. Okay, here I got this diamond ring. This is the the final model. So I'm gonna hide all the stones on the ring by pressing the layer with the color of the stones. Then I'm gonna select all the the object and over here in tools I'm going to select mesh repair. So it's going to show me these options and just going to press enter in my keyboard. I'm going to show you the percent of the work. Sometimes when there's a lot of objects in the design, it's going to take a little more. Or oh, it's a simple object, it's going to be more more faster to do this process. What the program is doing right now is converting everything into a mesh file. A mesh file is a object composed of a lot of triangles. So in this screen I'm going to close it and I'm going to move my ring to the right using the gumball. So I'm going to change my view so you can see what happens with this object. So as you can see, now the object is a mesh. A mesh is a triangle faces all over the, the object. So this is what I'm going to export to a STL file. So selecting the, the ring, I'm gonna go to file and export selected. I'm gonna save this this file in the same folder where where my ring project was. I'm going to my case uh, it's in Spanish and ellos in English will be rings. That name of the client is MBR. Uh, I'm gonna make a correction here. It was this one, Andre Ring. I already have here uh, three different files with three different sizes. So I'm just gonna save it over here like Ring for Repair. and enter okay we can minimize this and I'm gonna open mesh measure in the description below of this video you are going to see a link to the website of Factodesk where you can download this program for free Okay, now I'm going to import and I'm going to look for the folder where I put the STL file. I'm going to open it and here is my ring, but it's cut it in a half. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to edit 
and I'm going to align the ring. Okay. Now that it's aligned, I'm going to press a set. And now we have to convert this this ring, this model to a solid object. So in the menu, we still in edit, we're going to press in the menu make solid. Now it's doing the process. Now it's a solid a solid object. But as can you see, it has changed a lot the the surface of the ring. It's, it's not the same thing that I have in the matrix. So to fix this, I'm gonna go to solid accuracy and I'm gonna move it to the right. I'm gonna go around points. 070 or 75 I think it's good this is gonna be like the size of the new triangles and in the mesh density I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to point 070 and 75 The more you go to the to the right, the more resolution is gonna have over here. But the file also is gonna be pretty heavy when you save it. And I'm gonna go over here where solid tape says fast. I'm gonna change this for sharp edge preserve it. And I'm gonna update so I can see the the, the change reflected over here in my in my piece. Depending on how much object do you have in your model or how much detail do you have, uh, this can take a while or, or it's a simple model, it's gonna be fast. Also depending on what resolution in millimeters you give to the objects. 0.75 is, I think it's a lot of resolution. But in my case, there is a lot of prongs in the in the ring, so I need a lot of resolution for that part. Okay, the part is now ready, so you have to move the mouse, so the program will, will show you what happened with the part. Okay, you see, we got back our details in the ring. You can see like some strange part over here, but This is like 1000 times the, the size of the real ring. I, I mean 100 times about around. So the real size of the ring is gonna be something like then something like this. So you already have a lot of quality and a lot of resolution in this ring. So if you like your result, you can take, you can click a, a set. Or if you want to change something over here, you move, you play with these bars over here. Just move it to the left or to the right and update and you see how your surface or your vein or your, de or your details change in your object. So I'm pretty good with this one. So I'm gonna accept it. So it's gonna show you two files. The first one is the original one. So I'm going to del delete this one. I don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna stay with the with the final result. 
going to close over here and I'm going to do a last thing that I'm going to make this surface look more softness so in the keyboard I'm going to press Control A so the part is going to turn orange and it's going to show me this new menu over here so in this menu I'm going to go to the form and a smooth so you're going to see how this surface is going to change also these borders are going to look more more smooth Okay, and our lap step over here is to export the file to STL. So I'm gonna go to File and I'm gonna go to File and Export. And we're gonna look for the for the folder where we have the project we're working on. And I'm gonna save it as repair ring. Repair ring and save this part is sometimes it, it takes a while mostly if you if you did a lot of quality in the in that part or in or in that object uh, in my case I think it's gonna take a, a little bit okay now it's done so I'm gonna close this program and I'm gonna save this I'm gonna look for that file because always when you save a file from mesh measure the the file the the final file is gonna be a little heavy so i'm gonna t show you how to fix that So this file is now at 216 megabytes. So that's, that's a big file, uh, and it also is pretty heavy for the slicer program that your 3D printer use. So we have to make this file lighter. So what I'm gonna do right now is going to matrix. I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to import that file that we did in mesh measure. So I'm gonna go to file 
import and open the file Just press ok to this window file takes a, a little bit to to be placed over here in your work area so I'm gonna move the file to the right and can you see this the surface have a lot of a lot of detail a lot of triangles so what I'm gonna do in matrix is that I'm going to create a, a, another mesh again using this one. So I'm going to Tools and Mesh Repair. And I will just press Enter over here. And we wait for the mesh process. We close this window over here. And the screen freeze from one moment, but it usually happens when the file is very heavy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move the new the new file to the right. I'm going to delete this one. I don't need it anymore. Uh, we're gonna save this one as a STL file. So we're going to export selected. And I'm gonna to replace uh, this file over here for this new one so remember that it was one 180 megabytes I think 180 we're gonna see now what size we're gonna have so right now it's 39 megabytes so this is this is a good file now the slicer program ca can work with this file so yeah that's that's how you fix your files with mass measure and thanks for watching uh, don't forget to give me a like if you like the video or thumbs down if you didn't like it and see you in the next tutorial bye bye